Hello guys, welcome once again. In the last three videos, I have shown you how to save your data, edit your data and delete your data in your SQLite database using your C++ Qt GUI application. Now in this video, I will show you how to load your data in a table which will be here in your window from your database. So if for example you want to show uh, the data in your Qt window then how can you do it? You have the table in your database and you just want to show all the data at one go in a table in your Qt GUI application. So let's try and build the code to uh, show the table in which we will load our database data. So for that I'm going to go in this tool box here and I will go item views and I will go to the model based item views and I will take a table view here. So there is one more thing here which is table widget. We don't want this. We want, just want to use this table view which is our model based uh, view or item and for that we will create a model and then just set the model in this table view and I just want to take a push button also so that I can press this push button and load the table and I will just rename this push button load table and I will just change the text also load table okay so everything is done now I will right click my button and I will go to slots and select clicked and press ok and in here I will write my code so first thing I just want to write is I will want to make a login object from my login class so I will write login and I will give the object name con so those of you who are unaware of this why I am creating this log login object you can find the answer in my last videos and in the video number 13 I think in my uh, Qt C++ GUI application here in the video number 13 I have shown you how to create connection open and close function in your database and this these function I have made in the login class which I have created earlier that's why I'm creating the object to access my connection open and connection close class with the SQLite database okay once you have uh, done that I will make a QSQL query model and pointer I will name my model as model itself is equal to new QSQL query model and close it. Now I will uh, open the connection from the database first. So I will just copy this login object, con object, and paste it here. Dot con open. This is the function which opens the connection with the SQLite database okay and then I will prepare a query so I will write QSQL query and I will name my query as QRY query is equal to new QSQL query bracket and bracket closed and in these bracket I will pass my database as an argument so I will write copy this con object 
from my login class dot my db so this my db object is a qsql database object which i have in my login class so let me show you once again i will go to my login.h file and in here i have qsql database object which i have created in my login class okay so this is that and now once query is made let me make a query pointer i will now prepare a query so i will write query prepare and inside this query argument i will uh, write the query so i will write select star from the table name so i have this database and i have this table called employee info so i will copy the name of my table and paste it here okay my query is prepared now i just want to execute it so i will write query exact so my query is executed now i want to transfer the data which i have got from the query to the model so what i will write my model object so i will copy my model from here and i will write set query and inside this query argument i will pass my query object from here and because it's a pointer i will pass like this and once the query is set to the model now we will set this model to the tree view so i will write ui arrow pointer the, the table view last time i think i said tree view it's not tree view but the table view and now set it's set model and i will pass my model to the table view okay once this is done now i can show uh, some error message also in the queue debug so i will write queue queue debug with a small q and then I will write my model name from here and paste it here and I will write row count so it will count my row from the model and one thing I forgot is I need to close my database first so if I open the connection with the SQLite database then at the end of the my code i should close my connection from the database so i will copy my login con object and i will write con close so my connection with the database is closed this is also a function in the login class so now everything is done i will just build and run my program hopefully it runs and there is an error so let's see what the error is yeah so this should be like this and this should be closed now i will build my program once again and hopefully it runs okay now my login page opens so i will give my username and password press login and my second window opens so when i click this load table button it should give me all the tables or all the columns in the database and it will show me in the table view right so let me click this load table button 
and you see here employee id column is here name column is here surname column is here and when you scroll further age username and password and pay column is here but sometimes you don't want to show your username and password to the other users so what you can do is you can change the query and you can customize your the, this query to show the custom data so instead of select star from employee id you can show write the specific column names so for example i want to show the name and surname and employee id these three columns in the table view so i will write select eid column name then name which is second column name and surname which is third column name mind you these are these column names these are the titles which i am giving here and i will build and run my program and username and password and load table and now i have only three columns right employee id name and surname so i have customized my data to show in this table view so in this way you can use table view to show the database data in your qt gui application i hope you have learned something new this time please keep watching these videos and please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now